when Ronald Reagan was president, his wife, Nancy, she was a strong believer in soothsaying. She would consult astrologers, the stars, and all that stuff many times before Ronald Reagan made decisions. Before Ronald Reagan, I mean decisions that would affect the whole country. Sometime old Nancy would consult Gene Dixon and talk to Miss Dixon before Ronald Reagan make a decision. Then she would tell Ron <laughs> what Gene Dixon said. <coughs> Soothsayers. The Old Testament called them those of a familiar spirit. Be careful who you're around, brothers and sisters. When the book says evil communications corrupt good manners, there are many people that carry a very wicked spirit. This is one reason why I never could comprehend why any man or any woman who's in the body of Christ have an interest in studying witchcraft. That's right. If you know the law that God proclaimed in reference to witches, mm -hmm. in the Old Testament, it was a commandment for them to be put to death. To death. In the days of Moses, the proclamation was made that I suffer not a witch to live. Why would a child of God want to dabble in black magic? That's right. Well, that subject is very prominent in Africa and also throughout the Caribbean and Jamaica and through all the Caribbean islands. It is also prominent here in America, but you just don't hear much about it. But there are people today that comes to church is having this uh, new curiosity for the indulgence of witchcraft. Don't even buy a Ouija board. That's right. Someone says it's just a game. Don't believe that lie. That's right. The devil work all kind of ways. Mm -hmm. According to history. Egyptians was very superstitious about the usage of mirrors. Right. They felt as though that mirrors was a gateway from the spirit world into their world. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, there are, you ever heard of them folks, what they call paranormals, that go to people's houses and all that stuff? Believe it or not, do you know there are people who study witchcraft today that use mirrors? as a gateway to contact spirits that bring them from their world to this world. When I was younger, we had a, what we called a teenage prayer band. And, and uh, I was the youngest one in it. Everybody else was teenagers and in their 20s. There was a young lady house the prayer band went to named Sheila Purdy. And uh, the devil was there alive and well. Hmm. I believe her mother, Sister Jersey. Wow, I didn't know you was here. God bless your heart. Her mother, I believe, was a witchcraft worker, Sheila Purdy. Prayer band was over there praying one night Washing machine, starts shaking. Mm. And no clothes was in it. And it wasn't plugged. Mm. Them young folks started praying louder. So you know some of them older washing machines when your clothes spin and it really rocks mm. everything in the room? Uh, that's, what, that's what the washing machine was doing. Uh, the spirit world is not a world that one should play with or take for granted. That's right. To deal with the spirit world is not just dealing with God. That's right. Anything you want to learn about spirits, you can learn enough of it right here from the book. Mm -hmm. Don't go outside of the Bible. Amen. To learn it from the Bible, you're in a safety zone. To try to go outside of the Bible, you're in danger. Because what can happen, you can call spirits 
to follow you. That's right. That's what happened to my brother, Rick. My brother, Rick, <coughs> there were some folks we grew up with on La Coleman Street. And uh, he was, you know, talking to this one sister. And, uh, but the sister's mother was a witchcraft worker. The individual don't have to be a witchcraft worker. They can just be in that atmosphere and which can cause them to be a spirit carrier. That's right. What is a spirit carrier? You can be a spirit carrier and don't even know it. Because you're around it so much. Mm-hmm. And that's what she was, a spirit carrier. Didn't know it. Rick was coming home and those spirits followed him. And uh, he said he first noticed walking home, there was two dogs just standing like statues, watching him. He said, man, when he got to Jerome Street, he broke camp. <laughs> ran up the street, ran in the crib, and just dove on the couch, you know, to get his breath. He said, while he was laying there, Something jumped on him. Now, he wasn't asleep. He just got in the house. But while he was laying there, something jumped on him. And he said he felt the hair of a woman hitting his face. But he couldn't see no one. And what jumped on him started strangling him. And the hands were so large until the hands wrapped around his entire neck. And he could feel the breath of whatever was on him just breathing down on him. He was just fighting, but couldn't see nobody. He said, then it stopped. He jumped up off the couch. He went upstairs. Mommy turned the light on his room. What happened? Pictures start flying everywhere. Sound like something from an exorcist, don't it? The spirit world, it is a world that you should never try to tap into. If someone invites you to a seance, don't go. Don't think you got so much Holy Ghost you can deal with it. That's true. Or a ghost going to run you out your house. That's right. Give me the 19th chapter of the book of Acts. Are you already there? Amen. All right, come on. Acts 19 and at verse 13. Don't, don't let no one call you. That's right. I remember there was some brothers that used to be with me in Newport News, two twins. Yeah. And I remember when they just came into church good. They came to me and told me there was a girl they knew that was possessed and they was going to band together and cast out the devil. And neither one had the Holy Ghost. I told them, fool, leave the devil alone. (laughs) That's right. You leave the devil alone. If the devil ain't bothering you, don't pick a fight with him. That's right. That makes sense, don't it? I use this, (laughs) this parable. If you cannot First, get a monkey off your back. Does it make sense to go fight a gorilla? No. First, master the monkey. That's right. Then, perhaps, one day, day. you will take on the gorilla. (laughs) Don't let nobody convince you to go somewhere else in someone's house Somehow you're going to cast out some spirits. That's right. And you going in there pouring oil on their walls and on their doors. Like you priest Cunningham. (laughs) Stay away from that ignorant thinking. That's right. Stay away from it. Mm -hmm. I had somebody ask me. They watched the show that come on about the paranormal and whatnot and seeing spirits. And is that stuff true? Everything that's in the Bible is true. In fact, we got a brother among us who's like that. He sees spirits all the time. Brother Shields. He said he'd been like that since he was a kid. A lot of you don't know it. He said since he was a kid, he would see spirits of people that done died. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said when it first started happening to him, he was was scared to death. They would just run up on him. And he didn't know them. He said many times, and I would be preaching upstairs, he would, the whole pulpit would be full. He said, but what he would see was like by the 
the apparel of the people that would be up in the pulpit, the apparel was like from the 50s and 30s. And he said, when I would be preaching, he said, sometime, he said, he'd see from head to waist. And from waist down would just be like a vapor. He said, and I remember I asked him, I said, so what they be doing when I be preaching? He said, sometimes they just look and nod their head. He said, but then some would be angry. They would just look at you with hate and contentment. He said, but then some, they'd be nodding their head, agreeing with you. And he said, I just sit there and just, he said, I don't, I don't, I don't be knowing what to think and what to do. <laughs> the spirit world, it, 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 that, is, that is, someone said, well, that's a gift. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. <laughs> you know, because there's some folk living I don't want to see. You know what I mean? You know, I'm pretty sure there's some folk living, you know, out of sight, out of mind. That's right. So why I want to be looking at some dead folk? Mm -hmm. I see dead people. <laughs> I don't want to see nobody. So a lot of time when people run up on folk like that, they say, oh, man, they got a problem. They crazy. No, a lot of us fail to realize this stuff is in the Bible. There was a king by the name of Saul whom the Lord stopped dealing with. According to the words of the man of God, Samuel, mm -hmm. Samuel died and the Lord departed from Saul. Saul sent the proclamation out to find him one that had a familiar spirit. Because this is how desperate this king was. God did not deal with him. He got no answer from no prophet that was around, if any, nor did he get a dream that the Lord dealt with him. He was so desperate, he sought for a witch to get in contact with Samuel. He disguised himself so the witch wouldn't know who he was because it was the law. Put them to death. So she worked the work and she said, I see gods in the fire. Talking to the king now. The king said, what do what it look like? And she described the appearance, what she saw in the fire, and it was the prophet Samuel. Spirit of Samuel start talking to Saul and asked Saul in our language, if we use our language today, why, why have you conjured me up? Saul told Samuel, the Lord have departed from me. I get no answer from the Lord. The Lord have left me. <coughs> Samuel told Saul, seeing that the Lord have left you, why have you called me? I can't do nothing for you. Then the spirit of the prophet prophesied to Saul, tomorrow you and thine sons shall be with me. Can you imagine the spirit of a dead man telling you that? What was Saul being told? You're going to die tomorrow. Yeah. That's what he was telling. What do you mean going to be with me? You're going to be in my world now. Spirit world. Out of all the, Charles Stanley has some good knowledge. But yet in so many areas of the book, he's an unbeliever. He don't believe in the spirit world at all. He is a Sadducee. That's right. He believes when you die, that's it. That's no spirit, no nothing. Just gone. Well, that's different from even what the book says. Right. Some folks ask, when the spirit die, can the spirit see you? Listen, with the body without the spirit is what? Yeah. Your eyes, and ain't nothing working without a spirit in it. Mm -hmm. Your body don't become a living soul until God breathes into it. That's right. Then when God breathes into it, the breath of life, then it begins to function. 19, chapter book of Acts, real quick. Acts 19 and at verse 13. Come on. Then certain of the vagabond Jews ex exorcists. Vagabond. What is a vagabond? Wanderer. A wanderer. wanderer. You can be a vagabond without being a wanderer physically. Right. When somebody is unstable, you are a vagabond mentally. And if you're unstable emotionally, you are also a vagabond emotionally. Listen, 
Then son of the vagabond Jews, exorcists. Wandering Jews, exorcists. Took upon them. Hear the difference? Not that God led them, not that God directed them, not that God used them. That's right. They took upon them. Took upon them. To call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, they came in the right name, but their performance wasn't, wasn't right. Right. Of course, they took it upon themselves. Mm -hmm. See, you, you, you just don't take it upon yourself. If there's someone possessed with the devil and prayer's going on, if you scared, get out. Get out. Just leave. That's right. Ain't no love lost. No compromise. <laughs> Just leave. Mm -hmm. You better off leaving and not be in the atmosphere than be in that atmosphere and the devil's cast out and come in you. Mm -hmm. That's right. The devil is a spirit that don't want to walk around without occupying itself. That's right. In someone. That's that's what he does. Mm -hmm. He occupy space. Listen. Took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. Uh -huh. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. Which did so. And the evil spirit answered. Uh oh. Hmm. The evil spirit answered. Now imagine someone come in possessed with the devil, and we praying to get it out, and the devil started talking. I won't even have to tell some folk to leave the oh. <laughs> I never know what kind of prayer that people want when they come and want me to pray for them. I was in Newport News one evening. I was ready to leave, and brother knocked on my office door. <coughs> brother Jennings, I want prayer. And I said, Lord, why didn't you come up for prayer? But, you know, before I was ready to leave, he said, I, I said, all right. You know, I don't ask people what they want prayer for, because as long as God knows, I ain't got to know. Right. You know, when I was going to pray for him, he said, I just want you to know what I want prayer for. I said, ah, that's all right, God knows. He said, but I want you to know. I ain't want to know. <laughs> but then he started telling me, he said, I'm possessed by the devil. <laughs> I, I was greatly <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had my hand on my shoulder get ready to pray. He said, I'm possessed of the devil. I said, mm, really? <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> he said, I feel it all in me. I said, you sure it's the devil? He said, yeah. I said, all right. I said, all right. I said, all right, I'll pray. He said, you'll pray? I said, yeah. The moment I started praying, the moment I started praying, Man, he let out this scream. Ah, I mean, start spitting all over the place, you know. See, before he did it, I was praying with my eyes closed. <laughs> but with all that howling and screaming, with the first, ah, I was like, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with praying with your eyes open now. You see? I can still reach the Lord, though. <laughs> yeah, I prayed and got him out of my office. But, brother, I had to, we had to do some praying. Well, no one in it but him and I. Mm. But when they start hearing that yelling, some of the security knocking on the door, you all right? I said, yeah, I'm all right. You know, don't come in here. No, you devil being cast out, you don't want to come in there. That's right. Because then the devil can make that individual violent. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. Listen. In Matthew chapter 12 and at verse 43. This is clear instructions from <laughs> Jesus telling you what happens. That's right. When the a unclean, unclean spirit, spirit is, gone out, is of a man, gone out of a man. He walketh through dry he places. He walked through dry places. What do you mean? He walked through places that's uninhabited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seeking rest. Seeking rest. He want that. He want to. Dwell somewhere. That's right. Seeking rest. And findeth none. And find none. Then he says. Then he say, I will return. If I can't find no one to occupy, what am I going to do? I will return into my house. I'm going back where I came from. From, from whence I came out. That's so 
If I can't find the one to get into, I'm going back where I was cast out from. That's right. And when he is come, and when he come, he findeth it empty. He find it empty, swept and garnished. Swept and garnished. Then go with he. Then go he. And take it with himself. Seven. Wait a minute. See, he he, he want to come back where he was cast out. Right. Swept and garnished means clean. Spirit of God is is all there now. Mm. They all straighten out. So this is how determined the devil is. He is so determined to get that individual back in the state they were in. Mm -hmm. This is what he does. Then, Listen. Then go with he. Then he go. And take it with himself. He get with himself. Seven, seven other spirits. Seven what? Seven other spirits. He gets seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. More wicked than himself. You ever wonder why someone, when they depart from God, is like they make in such a bowed face in a That's way, true. it's like this extreme hate gets in them for God. That's right. Seven more devils come in there, more wicked than him. You ask himself. yourself, how can you be more wicked than the devil? More wicked. The devil is wicked enough. That's right. But he come with Seven other spirits. Other spirits. More wicked than himself. More wickeder than himself. And they Who in their them. right mind will believe that the devil is something to play with? Amen. Hmm. Joe. I get to that. I get to. Read on. Then go with he and taketh with himself seven other spirits. Seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. Think of it. The devil is a very strong force. But yet the Bible talks about devils. devils. Legion. Why? Because we many. are many. Many evil spirits that come from this one devil. That's right. See, the devil is a spirit, yes, but yet they are other spirits. That's right. Just like God is a spirit, but from him come other spirits. That's true. See, I don't want us to think that, okay, it's just the devil and no other spirit. Because it is. From God, there come other spirits. You got the angels, numerous of them. You got the 24 elders. Angels have various occupations. All of them do not have the same occupation. That's right. Because there are some that are warriors. That's right. This is why when I talk about Micah, Micah the archangel means the head angel. Notice, when the war broke out in heaven, Micah, it is written, and his angels, his angels. designated ones. That's right. It says Micah and his angels fought the dragon. It never said all the angels fought him. No. Micah and his, That's right. not all. Satan is a spirit, mm -hmm. but a person can be filled with more than one devil. In is that book, written? Yeah, that's where Mark. in the book of Mark. Chapter 5 and we'll start You had the one six. that was called Legion. Why? For we, we, we are many. Mark chapter 5 and at verse 8. From this one devil, other spirits right. can come from him. That's right. Other spirits can come from this one source. That's right. Listen. Mark chapter 5 and at verse 8. For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Come out of the man, thine unclean spirit. And he asked him. Spell that. S-P-I-R-I-T. Thine unclean spirit. Unclean. Listen. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion. Do you know what bows above me? Just to give you a better understanding about more than one wicked spirit. Do you even know what the word bows above mean? 
Beelzebub means king. Right. King of spirits. He is a king. He's considered king of devils. That's right. Beelzebub, chief one. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. Chief one. Beelzebub means the chief one. In the book of Revelation. Listen. Revelation chapter 9 and at verse 11. Listen. And they had a king over them. They what? They had a king over them. They had a king over them. Which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. Abaddon. But in the Greek and tongue. In the Greek tongue. Hath his name Apollyon. If you are a king, you got servants. That's right. If you are a king, you got servants that work under you. That's right. Servants. Mm. Spirits that are under your subjection. Amen. Sit, listen, Satan is a god. That's right. That's right. And if you are a god, given that authority from the most high, then you have rule over spirits that's wicked but under your rule. See, someone can have the spirit of a liar. Right. That's right. Another can have a spirit of prostitution. Mm -hmm. Let me give you knowledge. Satan is a subtle wise spirit like a serpent. But you can have the spirit of a lunatic. That's right. That's right. There was one in the Bible that had the spirit of a lunatic. That's right. But Satan, he is not a lunatic. For he is called a serpent. More subtle than any beast of the field, but he can give one the spirit of a lunatic. Mm -hmm. It is clear he is not a lunatic. He himself is not a lunatic. God compares Satan to a serpent. That's right. So a lunatic spirit is not for, per se Lucifer. A lunatic spirit is not Lucifer per se. That's not Lucifer. Wow. Because God said what way Lucifer was. That's right. He is more subtle. And you can't be a lunatic and you're subtle. A lunatic is not subtle. Mm. A lunatic is mentally deranged. That's right. Big difference. Big difference. Mm. Here you have, this is what I mean by connecting scripture. Right. Satan is described by God as a serpent. He compares him to a serpent. More subtle. So than any beast of the field. Any beast. So, the beasts of the field have two meanings. The beast out there in the world, but also spirit. Meaning, Lucifer is more subtle than any spirit. What is the field in the world? How is that? Paul said, I fought with beasts at yes. Ephesus after the manner of men. But it was men that had a beast spirit. That's true. That's right. Paul wasn't fighting with animals with four legs. That's right. I fought with beasts at Ephesus after the manner of men. Satan is more subtle than any beast of the field. Satan is more subtle than any wicked spirit in the earth. Mm. Satan is more subtle than any beast. The serpent is more subtle than any beast in the field. Okay. Satan is more subtle than any beast or any spirit, wicked spirit, in the earth. In the book of Matthew chapter 9 and at verse 32. Listen. As they went out. As they went out. Behold, they brought to him a dumb man. They brought to him a dumb man. Possessed with a devil. Possessed with what? With a devil. With what? A devil. A devil. A devil. That term alone, a devil, defines more than one. That's true. 
A devil simply means he was possessed with a spirit. That's right. The devil is not a name. Mm -hmm. Devil is simply the title of spirit, a wicked spirit. Like God is not a name. God is the title of a holy, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The devil is the title of a wicked spirit. That's right. And as they went out, he was a dumb man. Behold, they brought to him a dumb man. They brought a dumb man. Possessed with possessed a devil. Possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out. When the devil was cast out. The dumb spake. The dumb spake. And the multitudes marveled, saying it was never so seen in Israel. You see that? All right, now. All right, here you had the spirit of the devil that made this man dumb. Dumb. That's right. Lucifer ain't dumb. That's right. But here you got one had a dumb spirit in him. Spirit. That's something. But Lucifer ain't dumb. That's right. He caused war in heaven. Ain't nothing done about him. No. He caused a whole third of backslide. He's on our back. <laughs> the Lord ain't said Lucifer was dumb. Lucifer, the Lord said about him, he's more subtle. More subtle. Than any beast of the field. That's right. But yeah, here's a man had a Dumb spirit. And as they went out. As they went out. Behold, they brought to him a dumb they man. They brought to him a dumb man. Possessed with the devil. Possessed with the devil. And when the devil was and cast out. And when the devil was cast out. The dumb spake. That dumbness got off of him. That's right. So you have the devil, Bowsabub, which means chief one. But there's wicked spirits that come from the chief one. That's right. Like you have God, the chief shepherd. But there's righteous spirits that come from the chief shepherd. Mm -hmm. He don't bear the title God of this world for nothing. That's why he tries to imitate the God of the universe. That's right. He tries to imitate him. Hmm. Yes. The multitude of the merchandise would simply mean what Satan introduced. Before, if a merchant started a business, before he started having people work for him, he first got to have, every, he got to have his merchandise already available. Right. Then he get help. <laughs> That's right. You, when, you start a, when you start a business, you, you have your merchandise. That's right. All that merchandise was in him. The spirits that come from the devil are simply having the same characteristic or the same attributes, or should I say carry the same germ that he carries. That's right. That's why, like, go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Exactly. And let me show you how the scripture used the term uh, devil back and used the term legion. Listen. Back in Mark chapter 5 and at verse 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? What's your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. My name is Legion. For we, For we are many. But when Jesus was talking to him, Jesus' words was in singular form. Unclean spirit. Unclean spirit. Spirit. Somebody's the head of that group. That's right. See, the book says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, spirits, spirits. whether they be of God. Oh. Why? Why? Why you use the term try the spirits? Because he said there's many false prophets. Many false prophets. Try the spirits. That's right. Many false prophets. False prophets carry all kinds of spirits. That's true. All kinds. You got the spirit of a liar. You got the spirit that love money. Mm -hmm. See, when a spirit of the devil get in you attached to something, you become possessed with it. Right. 
you become possessed with it and possessed by it. Mm -hmm. It don't want to let you go, and you don't want to let it go. Every spirit. Listen. In the book of 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 2, every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, every Wait spirit, a minute. Every spirit? Every spirit that confesseth. Every that, spirit that confesses that acknowledges that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh that is Jesus of God. Christ come in the flesh is of God and every spirit call it mm -hmm. that, let's explain that every spirit that confesses when you say us listen when your spirit confesses it that's broader than you just saying it that's true because anybody can say that that's right what did it say there? Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Hold it. Hold it now. <laughs> I gotta be right divided. Yeah, yeah. Brother Paul was being followed by a crazy woman. That's right. Who brought much gain, soothsayer. soothsayer. Wake up, Huey. Don't want to sleep with a walkie talkie in your hand. <laughs> and this spirit that was in the woman a was, damn was telling the truth. That's right. Addressing the apostles as a servant of God and all that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it is written, if thou believe there is one God, thou doest well. Mm -hmm. The what believe? Devils. The who? Devils. The who? Devils. The devils believe and tremble. Spirits. Yeah. Listen, let's go back to the fifth chapter of the book of uh, Mark real quick. I want to get as much of that as I can. Back in Mark chapter 5. Back in Mark chapter 5 and at verse 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Yes. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Yeah, he was filled with a whole lot of spirits. A whole lot. A whole lot of spirits was in him. Mm. Unclean spirits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought See, him. I told you. Yes, sir. The Bible says it. In the fourth chapter. Let me show you what that means. In the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 4 and <clears throat> verse 4. Says what? In whom the God of this world. See, he's a God of this world. And what does he do? Has blinded the minds. He don't do what the God of heaven do. Right. He blinded the minds of them. Which believe not. See, he's called a God because this world is his domain until the Lord destroy him. Right. But the God of heaven is the God of all. Of all. Mm -hmm. The Lord of all the, of the universe. That's right. No God with them, no God before him. Satan bears the title God because this earth is his kingdom. Right. That's why we were servants of him. He proved that you, he proved that he was a God because we worked for him. That's right. <laughs> and we work faithful for him too. Faithfully. That's right. In fact, people work more for him than they do for God of heaven. Yeah. So Satan is called a God, not in the same manner that the Lord of heaven is called God. The Lord of heaven is called God Almighty. Satan is not called God Almighty. See, there's a big difference there. The God of heaven is God Almighty, meaning no beginning, no ending. The devil is just called God of this world. And the reason why God attached him to this world, because just like the world had a beginning, so did Satan. That's right. Just like the world will end, so will Satan. Mm -hmm. See, that's, you notice the connection. God of this world, he connects spirit to earth. Showing Satan's confinement of power. God of this world, not God of the universe. When you say God of this world, that represents confinement. This world. This world. His, his power is confined here. 
That's what God of this world means. A spirit of solitary confinement. Hmm. He's confined here. He can't work out of the rim of here. He can't go That's beyond right. here. He's stuck here until the almighty God bring all power under his feet. That's it. And then the God of this world will be cast beyond this world hmm. into eternal hell. So he bears the title God, but not equal to the God of heaven. That's right. He bears the title king, mm -hmm. but he's not king of kings. Mm -hmm. See, He bears the title serpent. <laughs> so do God. Oh, yeah. When Moses was told, make a brazen serpent, a serpent out of brass. To whosoever shall look at the brazen serpent that's lifted up in the wilderness and look at it shall be healed from the bite. Right. It is written, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. What you mean brazen serpent? A serpent out of brass simply means that God is a deliverer. Mm. They were delivered or healed from the bite of the serpent when they looked at the brazen serpent. Brazen serpent. See, God wasn't not the title of just a serpent like the devil, but brazen serpent. He's brazen. Brass means he's a deliverer. Why? See, Satan is called serpent, but the Lord is shown as a brazen serpent. You know why? In the natural. When a snake bites you, you know what you got to do? You got to go back to a snake to get the venom to fight the venom in you. <laughs> That's right. So when you're bitten by the serpent of the earth, you need the brazen serpent right. to counteract what the earth serpent done. That's right. His venom get in you. Heaven venom got to get in you. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Go ahead, so mm -hmm. you got to understand what the titles mean. See, even the Bible says there are gods many, mm -hmm. called gods For though many. There be. Listen. First Corinthians chapter 8 and at verse 5. What is it? For though, though there be. Though there be. That are called God. Called. That's what Satan is. He is called that. Right. See? Whether in heaven. Whether in heaven. Or in earth. He's in earth. See? He's called that. The mm -hmm. Lord gave him that title. God of this world. Meaning his power can't go beyond here. Right. Right here. And believe me. This is a kingdom. He got a lot of folk working for him. A whole lot of folks working for them. Do you understand that? Go ahead, question. You cool? <laughs> People fail to realize the power that this devil has. Uh, Satan, he's called Abaddon by one nationality, Apollyon. By another. Uh, he's also, the book says, he walked as a roaring lion. God is called a lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. That's right. But there's a difference in both cats. That's right. <laughs> Big difference. Satan as a roaring lion stalked prey to devour. God as a roaring lion come to pounce upon the lion who devoured the earth. Mm -hmm. That's why Satan, let me tell you something. He don't fear man. No. The apostles saw the chaos. Let me give you just an idea of the chaos he caused in heaven. While the devil was there, it was war in heaven. And the Bible says that heaven was unclean in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. Sin didn't start here. Sin start there. Okay. That shows you ain't no one need to downplay him. No, no. Sin originated in heaven. That's right. We trying to get there. <laughs> but sin originate there. That's, that's some power. Oh, yeah. To the degree that you would disturb heaven's peace. Hmm. You will disturb the order of things. That's right. He introduced 
Look at the titles. Jesus is called the Son of God. Satan is called Son of the Morning. <laughs> Why Son of the Morning? When morning starts, does it start with daylight or darkness? Start with darkness. Son of the morning, meaning that he come along and introduce a new era, a new time, a new day, a new thought, a new mind that never exists. He introduced it. There was no carnal mind until the devil came. All the minds of heaven was the minds of God. They bow to God. They serve God. They worship God. But my God, when iniquity was found in Lucifer, mm -hmm. now Lucifer talked like no angel. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. No more bowling now. No. I'm the, so many words, I'm the man. I'm the, that's right. I'm the man. <laughs> I'm going to exalt myself mm -hmm. above the angels. That's what it meant when it said the stars. Right. He ain't talking about the stars you see at night. When he said, I'm going to exalt myself above the stars, he's talking about the angels. I'm going to be higher. That gold shows you the spirit of competition. That's right. See, he in his speech was showing you the different spirit, the spiritual characteristics. Mm -hmm. The spirit of pride was talking. Yeah. Spirit of subtlety was there. The spirit of arrogance was there. The spirit of competition was there. You see, to be wicked, to do wicked things is one thing. But to do wicked things with the thriving force of a spirit, spirit. is totally different. Because oh, yeah. now you got a thriving force that's pushing you. That's right. Until you have no control over self. Like the man in the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. He had no control on his own strength. He couldn't break chains no. and break feathers, but those spirits was in him. Mm -hmm. The devil gave him strength. That's right. Yeah. So this is why I often tell people, be careful who you're around. You can catch a spirit quicker than you can catch a cold. Hmm. And the problem with many of us, we have downplayed this for years. I don't know why. That's right. You know, you get scared when you look at the Amityville horror or exorcism and all that stuff when someone walking on the ceiling. Hmm. You know, I was in uh, Fredericksburg and, uh, a few weeks ago and I was just flipping through the channel watching the news and I was, and so then I just figured I'd watch a movie, sit back and relax, and some movie called Devil. I didn't know so much could happen on the elevator. <laughs> Everything in the elevator, ever. And I got on the elevator to go down to my car. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, man. But people will believe that. Yes. <laughs> Satan, by different cultures of the earth. Mm -hmm. This is what many of us don't know. As one man says, history is best qualified to reward all research. Satan, by many cultures of the earth, is not called Satan. They talk about the same one, but they call them different things. By so many cultures of the earth. That's true. Some worship Satan. I was watching this one program before I came here. You know, sometimes I check it out, haunting. You know, they go in these houses with spirits being, well, this one couple bought a house in New Orleans. You know New Orleans is like the devil. Right. Don't take it personal, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so what happened was, and I always, you know, I, I always encourage people, you buy a new home or a new apartment, have prayer in there. Because you really don't know what kind of person had it before you got it. That's true. And, oh, it was several spirits in the house. And there was one woman, she said she was, she was not a believer of none of that stuff. She just didn't believe in it. She said until one day she was home by herself. And then big mirror just bust. 
And then the mirror in her bedroom bust. <laughs> then the mirror in her bathroom bust. <laughs> then she said she looked outside and her dog was chewing on the bone. And she thought it was just, you know, a regular bone. Till she looked at it, it was a bone of a human. Mm. And then as they began to investigate the history of the home, they found out it was a religious group meeting there with hoods and everything, sacrificing animals and people. <clears throat> but what that religious group did was study ancient history, how Satanists connect mirrors to wish up, and they used it. So they called exorcism and whatnot, and they had the original recording and showing the actual footage and they started walking upstairs, and the people was talking, what spirit is in here? And man, that thing growled. They knew it wasn't the dogs, so all the dogs went in down the basement. And that's another thing, it's something about the animal world. They can see what you can't. That's true. And I tell you another thing that spirits, many times, what can see spirits that many adults can't before, children. children. I don't, I don't ask me why, I don't know that. Only God knows all things. I know bits and pieces. But a child, for some strange reason, can, uh, in some cases, see a spirit, and you can't. And can be right in front of you. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember a case even among my own family where, like, one of my nephews, you know, I mean, he was a good young man, but then all of a sudden, you know, he just started drifting away mentally. And there was my niece, daughter. And she saw the spirit. And the spirit told my niece, daughter, oh, that I'm, I'm the spirit that in the mind of, of uh, and, and called the name of uh, my nephew. I'm the spirit that's in his mind. And, and the little girl said, she said, I see that spirit all the time. And described him. So, be careful before you fall in love. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some of us are so greedy, we go eat every place at everybody's house. That's right. better know what you're, getting. what you're getting. Go back to the book of Mark real fast. Back in Mark 5 and at verse 10. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, send oh, us. I can't say one devil besought him. All the devils. You got to say what Jesus said. All the devils. All the devils besought him. Besought him. Saying, send us into the swine. Send us eat, in the swine. That we may enter into them. Yes, the one spirit got many characteristics. That's true. But it's still more than one spirit. There's more than one wicked spirit. And they under a king. That's right. By the name of Bowsabub. The word name Bowsabub simply means chief one. That's all that means. Chief one. And for him to bring seven more devils in a person. More wicked than himself. More wicked than himself. You better stay with God. That's what you better do. I often say, I'd rather get weaker than a half glass of water. Huh. If I'd rather for my fears to get so low, like a dead bottle of ginger ale. But let me stay in the bottle. That's right. You ain't got no fears, but I'm in the bottle. <laughs> I ain't speaking tongue in 10 years. Yeah, but I'm still coming. Still. That's right. <laughs> I'm still fasting. I'm still praying. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It is plainly written, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Many places all down through the Bible, the Bible talking about more than one wicked spirit. Many places. That's right. 
Listen. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And, and forthwith Jesus gave them leave. Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a deep place into the sea. There were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. Yeah, I, I, I would flee too. Notice how peaceful the swine was until the devils got in them. Have you noticed how violent they became? Violently. Herd ran violently. Hmm. The spirit of the devil is no joke. You know, and I can never admonish you enough and warn you and tell you. Stay away from Ouija boards. Don't even play. It's not wrong sometimes you may play. There are certain board games that's good. Play with the kids. Help broaden their understanding. You know, read words and whatnot. But anything that got to do with witchcraft, black magic, and devil, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Like this one infidel that you would come on TV once in a while, some type of magician. Forgot this young fella name. Who? Chris Angle? Angel. Yeah, floating. Yeah. You float, you float, that's your business. I don't, I don't want to learn how to float until the Lord comes. And I don't want to be learning it. I want to have a down pack. That's right. But to learn the... Let, see, a lot of folk downplay magic. Magic, according to God's law, is a sin. sin. That's right. Mag, we ain't got to be taking your children to magic shows. shows. Magic, in God's eyes, is truly satanic. Sin. That's right. So satanic until if you wrought that stuff in the old day, you was put to death. to death. But what they do, they downplay it now. Have you noticed even in the movie industry, it's this overwhelming uh, curiosity and joy for witchcraft, sorcery, black magic. Harry Potter, Harry Potter. ain't nothing but consists of number black magic and witchcraft. But they make light of it. That's right. Someone said, well, sorcerers are not for real. There was one in the eighth chapter of Acts named Simon. Simon, that's right. Simon the sorcerer. sorcerer. Now, don't look at the sorcerer from television perspective. Someone with a tall hat, big beard, <laughs> with stars and moons on his hat. No. Simon the sorcerer let you know he was a man that had a familiar spirit and worked with witchcraft. A man also, listen, in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and at verse 27, a man also or woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. Wizards are in the Bible. Sorcerers are in the Bible. Witches are in the Bible. Witches. Having a familiar, what you mean a familiar spirit? It, God is familiar with it. Mm -hmm. God is familiar with that spirit. And the prophets were familiar with that spirit. Why? It's an unusual, unusual spirit. It makes the individual wicked and unusual. And they indulge in that which is out of the norm. There is a book in a museum. I forgot where, in what country. And it's called Satan's Bible. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I got... Uh, I, I was watching it on the History Channel. And the historians were saying, they don't know the origin of it. They don't know who wrote it. They don't know where to... That book looked like it's almost half the size of the top of that table. It is thick. My Lord. You know them old Bibles that got the real thick leather cover? That's where it looked. Mm -hmm. They say they don't know who the author is. They don't know who wrote it. I mean, but the book is thick. Pages upon page. And it's called... Satan's Bible. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, people, don't, 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 don't downplay nothing. Then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So. Wow. And his parents took the billboard, run after him, pick him up, drive away. Wow. And then they showed another excerpt. Same little boy outside another day, and the local preacher was there, and the little boy said, Yes, spirits threatening with me, and he's up against the wall. And the cap this is with no cutting of the camera or anything. You could you could literally see the, the little boy's edge up to the spirit. No one else could see it. I couldn't see it because it was just for the television. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm telling you, the spirit world is no joke. I remember a report, I'm going to get to you, the report came out in Africa. i never forget it, I saw it in the newspaper, where there was a house in Africa that's supposed to have been in Africa, that's supposed to have been possessed by the devil. So what happened was they called the Catholic priest, which is the predominant, you know, fellows down there in Africa. So uh, the news reporters were saying they didn't, you know, they didn't believe in it, but hey, they, they wanted, they needed some coverage. Boy, they got one too. The devil was so violent in that house, I will never forget this. This made headline news front page and even had comments from the very cameraman. How when the priest starts saying in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan was saying, what Jesus? What Jesus? What Jesus? And he started hurling knives and they showed the woman her body that Satan Threw a, the spirit threw a knife and sliced her open. Mm -hmm. they, the photographer caught her son running out the house. And he was out in the ground still running with a knife hanging out of his back. The spirit threw a knife right in his back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm telling you, people, let me tell y'all something. Listen, the spirit world is a world that you don't play with, you don't dabble with, you don't say, well, let me just see. That's right. Because then what you may see, you may keep seeing. Keep seeing it. Go ahead. <laughs> What's that now? This is in Portmore where we just worked. Really? <laughs> wow. Portmore. Portmore, no more. <laughs> we're supposed to be in Portmore we'll be back there God willing early part of next year but I'm telling you brothers and sisters Satan the problem with religion these preachers have the devil you got to admit he is cunning because he make his preachers downplay him That's right. to convince the public he ain't got no power if you listen to these preachers they are telling you the devil don't have no power man you crazy Master, I beseech thee. Listen. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 9, and at verse 38. Master, I beseech thee, look thou upon my son, for he is mine only child. Uh -huh. And lo, a spirit taketh him. A spirit take him. And he suddenly crieth out. And? And it teareth him, that he foameth again. And bruising him, hardly departeth from him. You see the spirit of the devil beating a child. That's right. Just tormenting a child. Mm -hmm. And I besought thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not. Even at one time, the apostles, they just couldn't do it. That's right. The devil is tough. Tough. Your speaking in tongue don't phase him because he got a tongue. That's right. Jumping and shouting don't phase him. He had clapped and make sure your feet don't miss the beat. Hmm. It is foolish of us. To downplay the devil. And, and I'm telling you, this world is his domain, which shows you only temporary power because heaven and earth shall do what? Pass away. Yes, sister, be our last one. The cabal. I haven't really done too much research about the Kabbalah. So my knowledge about the Kabbalah is pretty limited. What it consists of, if you know. Oh, mysticism. Well, one thing about the Jews, they had a lot of, uh, we may use the term folklore, but a lot of history. Uh, wherein old Jewish rabbis simply documented a lot of history of, of events 
that have took place actually among the Jewish culture or the Jewish people in life. So I never, you know, got into detail and in reading about the cabal and things in that perspective. But believe me, the devil, these comedians that make jokes about him, yeah. they're going to meet him. And brother, they're going to hate the day they looked upon him.